While the advanced technology on today's vehicles is truly impressive, the basic principles of propulsion really haven't changed much since the early days of the automobile in the late 1800s and early 1900s. Vehicles today still need some kind of motor to generate power, and they need a transmission system to send that power to the wheels. In this two-part Counterman Education Center series, we're going to take a look at how transmission systems have evolved over the years. The first automobiles transferred power to the wheels through a system of exposed belts and pulleys, effectively creating a single speed transmission. There were many different variations, but to get both acceleration and speed, multiple gears were needed. This led to the invention of multiple gear setups. The next step was enclosing multiple gears in a sealed case, which effectively became the first true manual transmission in the context that we think of them today. These first units were non-synchronized, meaning that when you shifted gears, you had to match the speed of the input or driven gear to the speed of the output gear. Since the speed of the input gear was directly related to the speed of the engine, you did this by adjusting the throttle to attain the matching speed and shifting the gears at just the right moment. In those days, shifting was an arduous process. One big step in transmission evolution was the development of the planetary gear set. A planetary gear set consists of a sun gear, planet gears, and a ring gear. Depending on which of these components are held stationary and which are driven, a planetary gear set can achieve various gear ratios and perform basic functions such as forward drive, reverse drive, neutral, and different gear speeds. This ingenious design allowed for greater flexibility in transmission systems, and it paved the way for the automatic transmission. But we're not quite there yet. The first non-synchronized multiple gear manual transmissions utilized planetary gear sets and brake bands for holding the various members of the gear set to obtain the desired output. Shifting required the use of levers and pedals, and it took some practice to get comfortable with it. But these transmissions eliminated the grinding and fighting associated with an unsynchronized gear type of manual. The Ford Model T wasn't the first to utilize this design, but it was the first mass-produced automobile to use this type of transmission, and it also happened to be the very first mass-produced automobile. By the time the Model T was discontinued in 1927, the traditional manual transmission with gears lined up along the main shaft and coupled to an input through a counter shaft had become the standard type of transmission in almost every automobile. Further advancements led to the synchro mesh manual transmission in the late 1920s, which improved shifting even more. Most transmissions of the time had only three speeds, and these transmissions utilized a synchronizer between second and third gears, primarily to aid downshifting. Manual transmissions were coupled to the engine through a clutch, a purely mechanical friction device that allowed the driver to slowly engage the engine to the transmission in order to get the vehicle moving without stalling the engine. Clutch control was achieved primarily through mechanical linkages, but eventually cables offered a more efficient alternative, and finally hydraulically controlled clutches proved to be the smoothest and easiest to operate. In the next video, we'll talk about the next chapter in the evolution of transmissions when the planets finally aligned for the planetary gear set. Thanks for watching.